Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm posting a YouTube video after months and uh, it's just a video regarding my update about 11th grade and also how class 12 is currently treating me. I've completed one chapter for maths, that's probability and now I'm doing matrices and determinants. From physics, I'm currently doing ray optics and from chemistry, I'm currently doing chemical kinetics. Okay, now uh, if you talk about class 11th, then um, I don't know what to say. It was not a roller coaster because in roller coaster, you do have ups. But in class 11th, you don't have any ups. You only go down. And if I have to describe it in one word, that would be jhatka. It gave me a huge jhatka or shock, you can say. Uh, but again, I got to learn a lot. And in 12th, as everyone says, that 12th might be a little easier since you are already accustomed to the huge syllabus. So I'll try my best to score good in 12th because 11th ke marks patane like hai hi nahi. So once I get done with my class 12th, I will definitely let you know about my class 11th. In 2025 and 2026, I have to revise class 11th again. I have to learn class 12th and practice all the questions of class 12th then i have to prepare for both competitives together along with practicals and viva but the bigger pressure is that my coaching's syllabus is not aligned to my school syllabus so if i don't score well in pre boards i'll have to attend school regularly also this is not a sponsored video and some of you were asking about my the educators and from which platform i'm studying so let me just tell you all of this one by one so for mathematics, I'm studying from Vineet Lumba sir, physical chemistry, Brijesh Chindal sir, organic chemistry, Mohammed Kashyap Alam sir, inorganic chemistry, Piyush Maheshwari sir, and for physics, I'm studying from Janardhan sir, aka Janardhanandu Talakarthi sir. And yes, I'm studying from an academy since class 11. Hi. Hi. Murphy. Murphy, up Murphy. Up Murphy. Murphy, look at Mm. Let me do a quick recap about my 11th and I'm saying this again, this video is not sponsored by an academy. I study from an academy, so I'm talking about them. Okay, so a lot of you were asking about PYQs. So I do not practice anything extra for PYQs. In the questions that we get, we are already introduced with a lot of PYQs. Even in class illustrations, we have PYQs. In DPP, we have PYQs. And in maths, once we are done with a particular chapter, we have to do RBCs, which are rank booster concepts. And in those RBCs, we have a lot of PYQs. So we don't have to do PYQs like separately. We have it integrated in our course itself. The main question is, did I waste my 11th? No, I did not waste my 11th, thankfully. But it's definitely not the strongest. So I have to do a lot more question practice simultaneously with class 12th. And the reason behind my 11th not being strong is me. I did not do all the questions that I was given to practice. Now for all the new 11th graders, please choose your teachers wisely, first of all, and also stay consistent from the very beginning. Complete your homework on time. Don't miss a single lecture. And even if you do, complete it on the day itself. And all the new 11th graders out there, you can study from any platform that you want, Physicswala, Unacademy, Allen, Akash, Isaral, but attend your classes regularly and make sure that you're understanding everything that the teacher is saying and if not, try to change your teacher. Also, uh, I'm not in any kind of dummy school. I am in a regular school, but the attendance is not mandatory. Like if you're scoring well, then the school might give you relaxation. Also disclaimer, no. I don't have the target of any NIT or IIT. I don't have that target. I will just go with the flow. Please, yes, don't ask in comments. Mein. And um, that was how my 11th and 12th was till date. Hopefully, I will post one video per month. But these two months are going to be extremely hectic because I've just said I'm also going to practice 11th with 12th because once we have started with ITF and calculus, I won't be able to give much time to 11th. So in these few months, I will try my best to, you know, make my 11th grade as strong as possible. And to all the 10th graders, practice the NCRT questions, sample papers, previous year questions. And also, if possible, try to get a rough idea of 11th grade. 
also i believe that you are smart enough to know that one teacher cannot teach three to four subjects like sst science english maths hindi whatever it is not possible even for hindi and english you have to have different teachers study from youtube yes you can score very good marks if you are studying from youtube you can also choose different platforms that's all right but please make sure that you are studying one subject from only one teacher so i'll try to make my next video a proper study vlog like the ones which i used to make in 10th grade because this video was more like an update and with very less clips so i hope you understand and thank you so much for all the beautiful comments that you guys had commented in my community posts i'm extremely grateful for that and i'll see you in my next video very soon bye